I'm crusty, dusty, not a booger, nose piercing. Yeah, man, your business. Papa is up, y'all. It's nine in the morning. He sleeps all through the night now, y'all, which is a good thing. Because at first, he was waking up like three, six, nine. Because that was his hospital schedule when he was in the NICU. But now, my boy, oh, that breath is kicking, sis. I smell it. But now that boy, he sleeps all through the night. <laughs> he threw his big one. Good morning, Papa. Papa is up, y'all. <laughs> Say good morning. I already got your stuff. I already got your snacks. Look, I got your snacks already. Look. Look. You got your snacks already. He like, well, give it to me then. <laughs> Y'all, me and Papa are going to be spending the day with each other. Let me turn him around. Hello, Papa. Good morning, Papa. How are you in this beautiful morning? Hello. Say, both of us got colds and boogers in our eyes. We need to brush our teeth, get our day started. He like, girl, just, just, just give me the food, y'all. All these days, these, it is February what? What is today? It's February 18th. Look at this stuff. I'm not taking this stuff down. This, I'm not, look, this stuff is still on the floor. This stuff, no, I'm not taking this down. Did I put it up? No. Am I going to take it down? No. Like, no. Right, Pa? Right, Papa? See, Papa know the best. He said he on his mama's side. <clears throat> Papa, your papa need change, but come on. Get this bottle. Yeah, I be sitting here right up, propping that pillow up, and giving him his bottle. There you go, Papa. Good morning, son. Today, y'all, me and Papa... Going to be spending the day together. We got to go to Target or Walmart. I don't know which one I want to go to yet because I just got to get a few things. Um, <clears throat> What else we going to do? We're going to go get something to eat. And me and Papa just going to spend the day. He needs to take a bath. I took a shower last night, but I'm not going to lie. I might retake a shower. I don't know. You know. You know. So... I don't know. We'll see. So, when he done in, we'll be back. Because you need a bath. Right, Papa? Right, Papa? He said, baby, look. I'm eating. Bye. Zaire finna get the tub. He got his little towel or whatnot. But he's gonna be wearing this today. His little thing for his hands. So he be scratching his face. He got his little socks. He got his little black pants. And he got his little black and yellow Adidas shirt. So that's his little outfit for today. I never get him a bath in a bathroom because I'm so tall. Like. <laughs> Like y'all, I'm so tall, so I can, I kind of hate like bending down on the floor or bending over to give him a bath. So I just give him a bath in the sink. It's not like I cook my chicken and stuff up in here, so y'all come eat at my house. Y'all know how people say you can't eat at everybody's house. I don't clean my food in the sink. You should clean your food. So you should eat put your food in a bowl or something like that and clean your food. But I never clean my food in the sink. I just thought I had to say that. But people are like, I ain't eating no bad house. Girl, yeah, bye. And fill it with water. Put some soap in us so you can have a nice bubble bath. Oop. Now, why that soap just squirt like that? Like, why you just do that? 
Okay. Put on some warm water that's comforting for him. And I'll let that fill up. Period. Pong got his little dry towel. He got his little dry towel. So, my baby's ready to go. He ready for a bath. Right, Papa? Right, Papa? I don't know if y'all can hear him, but he's talking. Right, Papa? Feel good? Feels good? So I know you all do crap. <laughs> he just be looking at me. It feel good? Yeah, that feels good, y'all. Y'all see him laughing? I don't show my baby privacy. Feel good, Papa? <laughs> Why you laughing? <laughs> it feel good sometimes? It feel good, Papa? How that feel? Yeah. That feel good, right? Huh? You like it? You like it? You like it? <laughs> y'all, Papa is crazy, y'all. But I love Papa. Papa is a good baby. He's a good baby. He's so sweet. He sleep all through the night. He not a crybaby. He don't bother nobody. Let's give it up for Papa. <laughs> He's like, girl, you doing too much. I doing too much? Huh? I'm doing too much. Tell me I'm doing too much, son. Tell me I'm doing too much, son. You gonna splash the water? Huh? Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna wash his face, then I'm gonna wash him up, and then we're gonna get him dressed. So mama back to take a shower and we can get these streets, right? Yeah, you ready to get into some streets? <laughs> How was it? Y'all, I watched his face below. He's spitting up. How was it? How was it? Talk to us. You so fresh and so clean, clean. Look at those wrinkly toes. You know you had a good bath when your when your feet and hands wrinkled. <laughs> How was it, Papa? <laughs> it was good. You ready to get dressed? You ready to get dressed? Say one, two, three. Who was that fresh, Papa? Yeah, y'all don't mind that hoe. But who is my fresh papa? Yeah, I love the all black papa. Who is this fresh papa? Who is that fresh man? Who is that fresh man? Okay, yeah, y'all see him. Y'all see him. Y'all, so right now. Papa all washed up. Papa all dressed. Papa ate. I'm going to try to put him down for a nap. Even though he woke up at 9, it's 11 right now. I'm going to see if he's going to go to sleep so I can at least take a shower and at least flat iron my hair. Y'all feel me? So, and then Big Mama is going to wash her tail and do what she needs to do for herself before we head out. So, I'm going to tap back in, y'all. Right, Papa? You so fresh, Papa. You so fresh, me. You so fresh, me. <laughs> Y'all, and just like that, he's out. So, like I told y'all, I'm gonna use this time to go wash my ass and do what I need to do for myself, okay? Because y'all know they like to take cat naps. Look at him. Papa. Do y'all hear Papa? 
Y'all. Soon I got the shower. I had end up. I didn't leave him. I didn't leave him in his chair. I had end up taking him up just in case he did cry. But as soon as I got the shower, I'm glad I was able to take a shower. But as soon as I got the shower, he started crying. But I'm gonna fix him a bottle. I really was hoping that he hold out until I was wanted to feed him like a little bit. I wanted to feed him like a little bit before we left at the house, but. He greedy, y'all. He greedy. So, I'm going to make him a bottle. I hope you know he ain't getting nothing to eat. Matter of fact, let me use the big bottle because I think I'm going to get him six ounces. I usually get Papa four ounces. I usually get him four ounces, but so he can stay a little full, I'm going to get him a six ounce. I'm just going to go and get him a six ounce because I don't want no problems when I'm at Target. Stop making a bottle. Uh-uh. I don't do that. You gonna, you gonna start till you get home, messing with me, okay? Uh-uh, that's why I like to feed, change your baby, make sure you're comfortable before we go outside, because what they say, what we get at, at the door, don't, don't say you gotta use the bathroom. Don't say you hungry. Okay, so y'all, I'm gonna make him a bottle. Wow. Whew. This is overwhelming. <laughs> Okay, Papa, y'all, he is. Let me see if y'all can hear him. Y'all, he is screaming at me. Y'all hear him? But don't no kid run me, okay? Where the cleaning thing? Where's his cleaning thing? Come on, why is all in a bottle? Make him a bottle. Clean his bottle. I'm going to get it for six ounces while I'm doing my hair. This should be enough time because all I got to do is flat iron my hair. Period. And then we out the door. Because Papa already dressed. I hear you! You ain't that starving. Y'all see when I fed him, even though it has been a couple hours, but come on now, you not starving. Stop it. Y'all, I don't breastfeed anymore because... It's like when he came home. Now, when he was in the hospital, when he was in the hospital, uh-uh. I ain't even washed that out good. I don't even feel like I'm just getting a brand new bottle. When he was in the hospital, y'all, when he was in the NICU, um, my milk was coming, 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 coming. These baby was full, y'all. I was loving it. But it's like as soon as he came home, as soon as he came home, my stuff dried up. I was, I was, the doctor told me to drink a lot of water. I was drinking my water. I had my fruits. I had all that. But y'all, my stuff was still drying up. I don't know. And I talked to a lot of mommies, and a lot of mommies said the same thing, too. So, I don't know. Y'all, so I'm giving him a six ounce. I'm putting it in a pot. Put it in a pot with water so it can, that water could, he could have a warm. Do y'all hear him? He finna get a whooping. No, I'm just kidding. He got his milk. I'm gonna let that. Oh, I'm gonna let that warm up for a little bit. Rinse this top out, y'all. But while he eating, I'm gonna slide out my hair, and we're gonna have a little girl talk while I slide out my hair, so I get a little some some things off my chest, okay? And then I'm gonna pack his bed. And we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay, y'all. So Papa. He's finally back down for his nap. Now I can take some time and get this hair together. Y'all, one thing I hate about, this wig was a 613 wig, but one thing I hate about, it is sheds. Like, and this was some good full, this was a good full 613 wig before she cut her, y'all. But one thing is, like, I hate how 613 sheds so much. I don't care how good a hair company say, yeah, my 16, no, it's going to shed. That's that's just just 613, baby. That's just 613. I don't think you're trying to get your sales up, but it's going to shed, baby. While I'm finding my hair, I'm going to talk to y'all about what happened on Valentine's Day. Because I know a lot of my supporters is like, hold on, Xavier. He not trying to do all this nice stuff for you. And you still... Acting ungrateful. I'm not acting ungrateful. I wasn't being ungrateful, y'all. But what had happened was y'all seen the video. 
after I came home from Chicago, I came home to, to this, you know, Valentine's decorations and stuff. Don't ask me why it's still up. He ain't taking it down. I'm not taking it down. So I didn't put it up. Call me Patty. Call me Patty LaBelle. I didn't put it up, so I'm not taking it down. I came home to all of this decorations and cute stuff, which was cool. And I'm like, okay. In my mind, I'm thinking, I'm not the one that messed up, y'all. I'm not the one that messed up. So, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay. He trying to, uh, I guess he trying to make it work. I guess he trying to, you know, make it work. Make me happy. What I've been wanting. Even in a video, when he posted on social media, I was like, what this mean? What this mean? Because I've been said I was single. I didn't ask you to do none of this for me. I didn't ask for, I asked for a year when I was in a relationship with you before when I was begging you to do these things. Like I didn't actually do this for me. So just keep that in mind. So the night went on, we started drinking and painting. So I'm, at this point, I want to get an understanding. I want some understanding because at this point I'm tired. Like I don't deserve like what you doing. If y'all get what I'm saying, like I don't deserve it. He, uh, he feel like, he kept telling me, like, enjoy the moment. Just enjoy the moment. No. I don't want to enjoy just the moment. That's the thing. I just don't want. That's the thing, y'all. And some of y'all may say, Xavier, well, you should have just enjoyed the moment. No. I'm tired of enjoying the moment. I need to know what it is. I'm grown. Like, I'm 27. We're supposed to be married. This just don't supposed to be a moment. This just don't supposed to be a moment. So, we get to talking or whatever. So I'm like, okay, Donnell, what this mean? Like, we painting and drinking. I'm like, this was real sweet. I said, you did your big one. I gave him his props, everything. But I'm like, what does this mean? Like, what does this mean? Like, because cause my in my head, you you study talk to other females. And you study doing this. You study saying this. So what it is? You know, what it is? I just want to know what it is right then and there. Like, let's talk. It's it just me and you. No kids. No cameras. No nothing. Let's just talk or whatever. And he's just deflecting, y'all. Like, that's what Darnell... Darnell is the type... I don't know why he feels so... I don't know the word I'm looking for, y'all. But Darnell, he just can't talk to me. Like, he always deflecting or feel like he has to be that... Like that, like that, like that person. You can be soft with me. You've been with me for 10 years. I'm your wife now. You can be soft with me. Like, you don't want to seem soft. Well, I don't know, y'all. It's just like... I'm like, okay, Darnell, like, what it is? Like, what's wrong? Man, woo, like you can be soft. You feel me? You can be soft with me. Like, why are you so intimidated? That's the that's the thing. Why are you intimidated, y'all? So I'm like, okay, so what's this? Checking on Papa, y'all. So I'm like, so what's this? Like, you know what what all this mean? You know we've been into it. You know we've been doing all this. I've been doing all this on social media. You know I've been having my days. I've been woo 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 woo. I'm like, so what this mean? What this mean for us? First, he say, because it's Valentine's Day. I said, oh, so you doing all this because of Valentine's Day? He like, yeah, it's just for the moment. I was like, oh, okay, so we not fixing it. We not working it out. We not doing all that. So he like, man, just enjoy the moment. Just enjoy the moment. Then I explained to him like, no, I don't want this just to be a moment. I want this, if it's going to be, I want it to be forever. I want you to keep coming with the same energy. Then he deflect and say, what you do for me? What you do for me? I like things too. And ain't nothing wrong with that, y'all. But just don't wait till I say what I need and what I want for you to turn around and say what you need and you want. When you want it and when you feel like you need it, you should have said it then and there. Like I do. People be saying, Xavier, don't play victim. You're not perfect, Patty. But at least I know what I want. And I tell Darnell, he could tell y'all one thing about Xavier. I'm going to let you know what it is and what I want. That's one thing about Xavier. So my thing is with him, don't wait till now that I say, I want this forever. I want you to keep keep coming like this for me. Keep surprising me. Keep doing, keep showing me your love. Oh, what you do for me? I want shit too. But don't wait till I want what I want for you to deflect. And now, I don't do nothing for you. Y'all get what I'm saying? So that really got my blood boiling because now I'm like, okay, you doing all this and you still talking to me crazy. You still playing with me. But y'all, I'm just not on that. I'm not, I'm just not, I'm just not on it, y'all. I'm just not, if we're going to be married, we're going to get this money, we're going to take care of our kids, we're going to be locked in. Let's just do it. It's okay to be soft with me. It's okay to talk to me. 
You don't have to act. You don't have to act like. I don't know the word, y'all. It's just like he don't want to sing soft. Like I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. At this point, now we in the bed. So at this point, I'm like, I I brought it up again. I'm like, Darnell, just talk to me. That's all I kept saying, y'all. I'm like, just talk to me. Let me know what's wrong. If you don't want this, that's cool. That's cool. It's cool. I'm, I'm, I will be happy if you tell me this instead of leave me on. I'll be happy if you telling me instead of leave me on and, and got me thinking we all happy, happy, and you still doing the same stuff. Y'all get what I'm saying? So I'm like, just let me know like what's going on. So I guess he, so he ended up saying, yeah, he do want to work it out. He do want to fix it and stuff. And I was like, okay, my biggest thing is you keep talking to other females. That's my biggest thing. I was like, if you can't change that, then then it, it, it ain't going to work. Long story short, he said that's not going to change to my face in the bed on Valentine's Day. Long story short, he said that's not going to change. And he told me before, how long I've been, when I brought it up, he said, how long I've been doing this to you? So, y'all, it is what it is. And, and, and I was hurt by that. So, I, I ran to Facebook. Yes, I did. I ran to Facebook. And you know, I, I started venting because that that really just it just my thing. And that's why I wanted some understanding. Cause don't do all this for me to bring me back in to tear me back down. I'm not having it. That's why I asked those questions. What's what's this about? What's this? Is we making up? Is you trying to change? Is you trying to show me something different? No, you keep on saying how long I've been doing this to you. And all this stuff, instead of reassuring me, like, baby, I love you, uh, I'm going to at least try to change. Like, like none of that. Like, you, you give, I'm honest, I understand you giving it to me straightforward, but that's how I know a, 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 a guy that want to make it work, he going to tell his girl, like, baby, I'm sorry, F them, F them hoes, and uh, ain't gonna happen again. You don't gotta worry about. That's what a, a guy who wanna work it out gonna tell you. But he straightforward. With me. He like, yeah. Basically, it ain't gonna change. I've been doing this. Ooh. So cool, cool. Just leave me alone. Like, don't, don't, don't hop up with with doing stuff like this. Like, no. Nah, I hear a lot of times they plans to take my kids out. I come home to you doing this. And my thing with him is y'all. He don't know what he want. He don't know what he won't. He don't know what he won't. Long story short, that's what happened, y'all. You're not going to constantly tell me in my face, I've been doing this. How many times I did this to you? Oh, yeah. Move around. Trying to step in, trying to talk to me like you the catch. And y'all, I don't let people talk to me any type of way. I don't let people talk to me any type of way. So you want to act like you the catch? You want to act sassy? Y'all, I moves around. I moves around. Over with. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that deflecting, narcissist ass, immature ass game. Baby, you finna be 30. My thing with him, you finna be 30. And you don't know what you want? Come on now. You been nothing but a good ass girl to you. A good ass girl to you. Baby, I've been a good ass, amazing. I have my days. I ain't perfect, Patty. I have my days. It's just one of them days that a girl goes through. And you can only accept those, accept those days. Like, I'm tired. He's a little boy. He's immature. And I'm not down to him. And I'm not disrespecting him. This is These are facts. Telling you what it is. And I just want to move out. And I want to move on. And I want to be by myself with my kids. And find me somebody who's going to treat me exactly how I deserve. Treat me with respect. Even if you was, even if you was going to do the same thing or, you know, you're going to continue to do the same things. Tell me in a respectful way. Tell me like, I don't know what's going on with me right now. I'm not happy with myself or I don't know what's going on. But right now, you know, y'all know what I mean. Tell me in a respectful way. You're not going to tell me in my face. Oh, I've been doing this to you. Oh, uh, I, I ain't finna stop. No, nah, who is you? Who is you? Oh, you think you the catch? Okay. Cool. Continue to think that. That's what's wrong with a lot of these men out here today. They think they the catch. 
Stop trying to stop, stop making these men feel like, and that's how I made him feel a lot of times. I made him feel like he the catch. Oh, but I'm going to show you now. Like, it's time for me to go. I don't want to be here no more. I don't want to be in this relationship no more, y'all. I feel like you just waste my whole time by marrying me. You just really wasted my whole time. All this stress I put. Yeah, I'm just doing anything now. Cause I mean, at this point, I gotta hurry up. At this point, I just have to hurry up. Like all this stress you put me through when I had my when I was praying with my baby, it's over with. I'm sure, y'all. Believe it or not, I'm done. I can't do it no more. I can't deal with no man like this no more. A, a immature little boy, I can't do it. I have my immature ways too, but I don't never disrespect my husband and say, oh, I want another man. You ain't no motherfucking catch. I'm the catch. You gotta go. Like, mm -mm. over with. Stop saying, please stop saying. Please respect my boundaries and stop saying work it out, even though I know I put my business out there, y'all. But please stop saying work it out. Ain't no work it out. I'm not working nothing out. I don't want to be with this man no more. You go be with a man who constantly telling you, you making him unhappy. Your presence. Y'all, he told me, your presence. I, no, he said he unhappy. I said, why you unhappy? He said, because your presence. What the hell wrong with my presence? I don't do nothing to you. Your energy. My energy what? Because I don't, I don't fall into your bullshit? Because I don't fall into your bullshit? And I been distance myself. That's what you. That's what he don't pick up on. That's how I know you not for me and you don't love me. You don't even know I distance myself. You don't even know why. You don't even know why. It's you. You trying to make me, make me feel down and depressed about myself when it's really you. It's you. You almost. He almost had me, y'all. He almost had me. Like, he almost had me think like, damn, is it really me? No! Hell no! It's you. What you mean? Play with me. You almost, he almost had me. He almost had me. Don't play with me. Can't play with me. My presence, my presence making you unhappy. Move around. Move around and you still ain't moved around. But my presence making you unhappy. Move around. Why ain't nobody moved around, y'all? Stop playing with me. But I ain't gonna move around to show you how to do it when you tired of somebody. I'm gonna show you how to do it when you tired of somebody. But my hair, I just ran through it, y'all. My hair's all flat iron. That's basically what happened, y'all, on Valentine's Day. Yes, I was heated. I was ranting. But at this point, this is my last time talking about all that. Right now, I'm just ready to show action. Because I got so much planned for myself. And I'm just working on me. I'm so happy. Yeah, I know my lace ain't the best, but it needs to come off. But it is what it is, y'all. Um, yeah, but I got a lot of stuff planned for me and my kids. So, yeah, just stay tuned for the Xavier show. Stay tuned for the Xavier show, y'all. Period. Y'all ready for this week to come off, but I'm going to take it off this week. I might throw on the hat because the lace is not giving. I tried to clean it up a little bit, y'all, but... It's still a little dark around there. It's not giving, so I'm going to put on the hat. Y'all, right now, I'm going to go make Papa. I'm going to go make Papa diaper bag. And we're going to head on the road. We're about to paint out that. Well, no, we're not. It's, on, it's still early, y'all. It's um 12 o'clock. But, yeah. Yeah, so okay, y'all can finally see that we made it up out the house. Papa in the back. I got him turned around like that, y'all, because 
I had parked. As y'all can see, I packed up everything. His bouncer and everything because we're not going to go back home. I'm going to go to my friend's house and chill and kick back. It's a Saturday. You girl need to be in the house. I'm going to go over to their house, chill, and kick it. Me and Papa outside. We outside, Papa? We outside? Y'all, he looking like, I don't know what this lady be talking about. I don't know what's going on, but I need to figure out a way to set this phone up so y'all can see me. Hey, that look like it worked. Period. Y'all, so let me show y'all what I got from Target first. So I got Pi and Z a few things from Target. It's just clothes. Like y'all, when I go to Target, and you no, know, they always have like new stuff out. So if I see like something new, I will grab like Z a few shirts and a few leggings. Cause they it's it's you know always something to keep, you know? So they pick them days like you know oh i did pick this up woo woo chicka what is period and i always get pile like some sleepers and stuff so that's what that is um your girl got her see i want to try to see papa your girl got her some pads y'all i needed this man y'all business <laughs> y'all had got some um virgin coconut oil because y'all know i'm a crazy tiktok person so everything they do on tiktok i want to do TikTok gonna be the death of me. If I ever was to pass away, it's gonna be like, cause she tried this on TikTok. <laughs> but no, y'all, I'm gonna try to start doing oil pulling for my teeth. I learned about it on TikTok. Basically, you take a teaspoon or a tablespoon full, put it in your mouth, switch it around for about 10 or 20 minutes, and then you spit it out, brush your teeth. And then, you know, it helped restore your gums and restore your teeth and stuff like that. So I'm gonna start doing that and see how that works. A lot of people on TikTok say that actually work and keep you away from the dentist or whatever. And then I told y'all I'm going over to my friend's house. So your girl got her some of her pink Moscato. Bitch, we finna get drunk. <laughs> so y'all got some pink Moscato. The little one, not the big one. Okay. And y'all, I actually parked because your girl got the Cardi B outside me. Yes, y'all. So I had stopped at McDonald's because I was hungry. So I'm like, why not get the Cardi B and Offset meal? It's only one of me, but I'm gonna eat like it's two of me, okay? So <laughs> I got the Cardi B and Offset meal, y'all. I got the drinks. I got the fries, and I got the burger, the barbecue sauce. Period, y'all. I hate people. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't have McDonald's in a minute. I hate people who be trying to ruin stuff for people like we know we had a double quarter pounder before. We know we had fries before. It's just for fun, y'all. Like tight, like tighten up. Matter of fact, loosen up. It's just for the fun. Of course we had Of course everybody had McDonald's fries before. It's just for fun, y'all. Like man. Come, if I ever was to get on that level and McDonald's want to say, we're going to do a Xavier meal. I want y'all to price the to pay how fun with it. And just, you know, and I hope for you, if you ever get big at what you're doing and McDonald's want to do something for you, I, I'm purchase your meal. It's just for fun, y'all. Hey, we know everybody had McDonald's fries before. Y'all be killing me, like. Mmm, mmm. Y'all, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but let's get down to it. These fries is the hit, they fresh. Don't pay them, Papa. What's wrong? You want to sit up here? Yeah, I'm turning you around because you're sleepy. Y'all, Papa is sleepy. I wish you just gone and go to sleep. Okay, y'all. So I got my barbecue sauce. I got my barbecue sauce. And I got my apple pie. I got my apple pie. Oh my God, Cardi. Oh my God, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. I love Cardi B. I love her personality. I love her music. And I love and I love her. But I hate how people try to, you know. Everybody gotta be on one side. Everybody gotta be on Nikki's side. Everybody gotta be on. No! I love. 
I love all of them. I love Beyonce. I love Rihanna. I love Cardi. I love Nicki. I love all them bitches. I love bitches who want their money shit and they want their money shit. I don't care who with the devil. I don't care who racist. I don't care who talk about this. I don't care who. Well, I do care who racist, but I'm, I'm just saying. Y'all get what I'm saying. I don't care who like, who y'all say the devil is. I don't care who y'all say, oh, she called us roaches. I don't care who, like, stop picking with folks. Folks want to call y'all roaches. I like them all because they get they women and they get in their own bag. That's why I like them. I don't care about none, all that other stuff. Ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just here to listen to the music. And it's just quite a big meal. Okay? Here it is. Just like me. Y'all like me, but what I got going on ain't got nothing to do with y'all. So, you like them folks' business? Man, y'all business? Okay, this is a cheeseburger. Okay. I mess with the cheeseburger. I'm going to open my barbecue sauce. Because i seen them do this on TikTok, y'all. So they was opening their barbecue sauce. And they was adding on top of the burger. They was adding on top of the burger. Let's see. Mmm. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Okay, Cardi. This tastes like offset. Now. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a goofy. I quit, I quit, I quit. I just put it in Cardi. He fine, though. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Y'all act like I ain't never tried no cheeseburger before. Cardi B made this cheeseburger. Okay. I'm going to say something for the road. Her meal is like, yeah. Let me put y'all up on game. Hello. Hello. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me put y'all up on game. While food still in your mouth, you're supposed to hit your drink. Mm. 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 You're supposed to swallow your food down with your drink. I hate some people who, well, I don't hate them, but I know people who cannot drink while eating they gotta eat all their food first then they gotta drink see y'all missing out while your food in your mouth supposed to hit your drink mm. yeah ma'am okay i'm saving the cheeseburger for the roll for me as i gotta dry yeah as i back there going to sleep okay now we got a quarter pounder with cheese mm-hmm I have my barbecue sauce. Go ahead. Hold on. Hold on, Cardi. Y'all, Cardi made this. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Just hitting the spot right now. Oh yeah. And even 101, what did we learn? You told drink. Mm. 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 What about you song? Yeah. McDonald's, y'all know what y'all doing. Good marketing. Good marketing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm going to get on the road. Because it's like 45 minutes, 56, 45, 55 minutes to get to my friend's house. So, just going to end my vlog. I love y'all. Keep rocking with me. 
I got much more to come. Uh, much more to do. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like this video. I love y'all. Zaire. He in his cossie, y'all. I don't think he likes his cossie. Zaire. We see you back there dozing now. Y'all yeah, finna go ahead and turn his little butt around. Um, recline him. You wanna recline, Papa? Recline him. So he can be comfortable for this 45 minute ride. And y'all, we out. I love y'all. See y'all. Mwah.